Welcome back to the first battle of the war. Battle of Alexandria, Balran Manassas, 21st of July, day one. It's a meeting engagement. You get the picture. We have ordered up our divisions on the left. We start with the first division, the strongest in the army. We're not going to use our 19 engineering points. Because it's a... Uh, wait a minute. What's this? Fe oh, feuds. Lots of feuds here. Okay, that that's not good. It can't be good. Mm. Then we have third division. I think second division is going to be our centrally located army reserve in the center here under Hunter. Heinzelman's 3rd Division, uh, their objective is to grab and defend his stone bridge. So I will have to... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna double time these guys. I might actually do that. Wait a minute. These guys have... Oh, they have, they have a level 2 perk starting the game. Alright. Wonder. Let's see what happens if we give the entire division order to move up here over the field. There we go. And fourth division, their orders is to grab this ford here and defend it as best as they can. So, and we have rifle muskets on the left. They will have a little bit longer range, and they're on the right. We only have muskets, so they'll group up in this forest here and on the utmost right flank we had the fifth division uh, just defending this ford here okay of course the army command is going to be quite stretched here fighting over a wide area we don't have multiple core oh yeah we have a we have oh yeah we have the artillery first cavalry division let's go and grab the victory location with the cavalry ASAP <clears throat> and then uh, here's the artillery is it yeah 8th division is, is actually a an artillery division with 5 batteries so we're gonna try to have them deploy and cover these two crossings here the ford and the stone bridge so I guess they'll set up in the forest here have them move as a full division formation. It's going to take a little while and uh, see how that goes. So the rebel army is about the same size in its entirety, but they should have only two thirds of their forces on the map right now. So uh, in a way, we outnumber them right now. Okay, this feud is own initiative. Huh. Okay. Well, if he's not going to, he has the order to move. Let's ask this one. This is actually the first time I see a feud. Uh, I didn't get any feuds in my entire Confederate campaign uh, in vanilla. It's kind of weird. These guys have orders to move. Let's find McClellan here. Yeah. Uh, Increase the speed a bit. Cavalry is moving. First division. Some troops are moving. Oh, and they both seem to be moving. I wonder. I, sh I should probably advance with the third. They're really not in a position to to cover these crossings here. So, I suppose, okay, ignore the name, 1st Artillery Division, right, you, you can see, they, they're not in a good position here, I'm gonna move them down to this fence here, I suppose, and have them set up there, uh, and here is 3rd Division moving. They're moving, right? Yeah, they are. They're kind of messing up here. I don't like that. 
but I guess it's too late now. We have, yeah, we're taking the victory objective. It's it's a now we can defend the rest of the battle, the victory location. Great advantage for us. The militia brigade. I don't know what from what state they are from. I'm gonna go into line into the forest here. I suppose I can just send out their skirmishers. And I think these guys are in a pretty good formation here as well. So uh, that takes care of the fourth division. They're almost in position, you might say. I'll have the skirmishers cover the crossing. from both brigades uh, yeah it's interesting I gave the third division order to move uh, all three of their divisions right and one of the divisions fell back and gave space to the other one so this is kind of how, how it should work this March division level order is working out quite well So let's try and keep these feuding boys as far away from each other as they can, as I can. Huh? No, no Confederate troops in sight so far. I guess I want to move them over here, and I guess I want these guys to keep going. A bit closer to the bridge. Obviously, since our arm is very uh, green and very vulnerable, I am doing a bit of micromanagement, maybe a bit more than, than what you sometimes need to do. guess we're gonna leave the cavalry here at the victory location as a kind of a reserve I thought I told McClellan to advance a bit to increase his order okay we have Confederate cavalry crossing the stone bridge here which is called it's called the stone bridge that's uh, I guess we'll have to go out in line here our second brigade. Hmm. Yeah, they uh, they cross the bridge. Interesting. We're gonna set that send out Wilcox detachment. Uh, they have rifle muskets, quite good range. I'll show you something interesting though. Let's go down into the nitty gritty here a bit. In the vanilla game, all rifle muskets have. 400 yards as a standard range. Here your Springfield rifle muskets have only 292, so quite a lot lower range. There we go, and you know, if we get charged, maybe we should go into square with these guys. Uh, certainly have skirmishes out. Have them move up along the road here. First shots of the war, at least in my uh, humble experience, have been fired. Um, yeah, you can be in line. Uh, I'd rather have some more skirmishes engaged in these cavalry here. It's only a 400 man cavalry unit, so not too scary. Behind them. Um, Gooshland Light Dragoons, 300 men. It's very small cavalry units. Uh, I 
I guess it makes sense to send some cavalry over and grab Beachhead, uh, a crossing point for the uh, follow-up infantry. But again, cavalry isn't doing too well versus sharpshooters. Uh, I'm just gonna go into line with these guys. Oh no 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 no! That's not a, that. Okay, that's pretty weird. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want them to move all the way up there. I rather have them engage the cavalry there. Okay, we have cavalry coming in on the left flank as well. Uh, so line, line. And skirmishes and skirmishes. Mm. Wait, what? I want them to take position at the fence here. We do have one 4th Brigade as a reserve in the back ground. In the back. Uh, at the rear. Okay. Uh, seems the Confederate Cavalry actually threw, threw back our uh, skirmishers. So far so good. Uh, I like how the battle started. Nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, 150. Okay, they lost 50% casualties. That's not a good start of the battle for the... Ooh, my... Uh, my uh, skirmishes are already wavering here. Yeah, stable. Yeah, this is not good. It would seem that the the Confederates are coming over the stone bridge in the center, very much so. So that means we are now going to uh, deploy our strategic reserve, the second division here, and they have a couple of full-time small regular army brigades, USMC and US Infantry Battalion. They're small, but they will remain for 99 months. Uh, I think the second and first brigade are reserves and they will disappear so they're not as important but let's move them up towards the... I should probably have started moving these guys out a little bit earlier. Uh, I'm gonna move them up here. Seems like we have nothing incoming on the right flank so far so I suppose the first artillery division could move up to engage and and support the center uh, I think they'll do that and uh, that would be I haven't sent out into the grain fields here and, uh, these aren't Oh, they, are they still moving here? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Okay, I think it's time for us to uh, try to get like in a good position here. 
if if you guys were to move down to this fence it would be great can I move first brigade over on the left here and kind of take a position around this fence here and have the third brigade cover the center kind of that would be great I have to admit, the 3rd Division here is really taking... They're, they're gonna be in trouble. They're, it's just... Uh, let's send down Sheridans. Engage them here. and I'm just gonna occupy the Ford. Sorry for all the pausing. I'm new to the mod and uh, they have orders here. gonna unlimber the entire oh uh, I'm filling around with the artillery here I I think I can give the 8th division order to engage um, down here maybe Let's see how that works I feel I need uh, artillery support uh, same here line up my artillery unlimber them and I suppose, well, fire at will. Seems uh, they are striking our center uh, with their entire force. Okay. Hmm. Well, here's the thing. Okay. I wonder if we should uh, give order to our first division. No, I need them to sit on the victory location here. Second Brigade, however, on the burn side, will march down towards kind of the hole in the center of the line here. And we'll follow up with the professionals here. and their division uh, commander as well. I 
Actually, uh, I'm quite... Look at the, com the commands here. The, the AI is actually setting up almost... Ex I mean, exactly the way I, I want them to set up. Um, it's just taking a while, but... Um, Honestly, to me it looks like the AI is somewhat... There's a lot of nervous units down here in the center. They cross the bridge, but they're in a cluster mess. A real cluster mess there. Uh, doesn't look great. Try to have these guys face down towards the enemy they don't seem quite to want to do that okay and and uh, the artillery has opened up here it seems eighth division which is actually our second artillery division i haven't renamed them so well and it seems like first artillery division is firing here uh look at look at them go aren't they yeah uh what can I say? What can I say? Tactical AI, not so strong. We got a little bit of a cavalry charge here, it seems. 9 o'clock in the morning, ten, almost 10 o'clock, 9.40. Okay. This is interesting. Uh, now this second brigade decided to move down to this river here on, on their own initiative. I just need to make sure that allow initiative is turned off. I mean, it's just one example of how... I, I don't know. Okay, it's a new campaign. I'm fairly sure I always play with my settings uh, AI initiative turned off. Yeah, commander initiative by default is not clicked. And you only do that at the start of the campaign. And even though all my initiative is turned off, see how this second brigade decided to move out from behind the fence in a very good defensive, all the way down to the river here, away from their command. It's like playing the mod doesn't help you from the AI having some sort of weird auto initiative suicide and it's it's still there so and now they're broken uh, I guess I'll give the commander order to rally it's not gonna I guess it's a cavalry charge that uh, Oh, look at this. Uh, this brigade decided to go over here on its own. Nah, yeah. We'll see how far I get into this campaign. I mean, this is such a serious, weird bug where... Uh, the problem isn't... I mean, I, I, if I could only give this guy an order to like, no, don't do this. It, the problem is I need to order him to halt and come back in five minutes and give him new orders. Um, okay, yeah. Okay, I guess the entire brigade decided to go down there. It's sad. It's really sad. Um, you, you can't. You can't have uh, AI just order entire divisions to uh, run off. To oh wait. Now wait. Did I do something? Because the artillery division, at least the commander here, seems to have no. He he wants to go over here to the left, and I'm fairly sure I didn't order. 
I mean, I didn't order the artillery division to do anything else, but to... F it's, it seems like my entire army just decided to uh, give themselves new orders. I'm just going to check the McClellan here and see if he has... Uh, one issue. You know, you have this use cover. I don't think that makes them move all the way over. They're still moving. What's, what do we have here? Oh, look! This brigade is moving over here. All right, so I, oh yeah, of course. Uh, it seems like the entire army decided to give itself new orders. Yeah. This is 4th Division. Mm. These guys are actually staying in... Some some troops are staying in place. Not not these guys. Uh, they, they're, they started marching, but... Yep, these ones. Look look at their marching orders. They're walking straight through the... I'm just gonna order the entire 4th Division to halt. So, all that, yeah, you know... I, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious why... Is it only me? I started a new campaign. It's, it's such a serious bug when uh, when your entire army just gives itself ra totally random orders. Uh, could be... No, it's not the mod. Uh, this happened in my uh, vanilla campaign as well. Okay. Yeah. We just have to wait until my halt orders go th goes through and then try to convince... Them. Usually you have to give them... Uh, you know, they, they're gonna keep on giving themselves random orders, so... Well, we're just gonna play this battle through, but I, I'm not gonna play this game. Uh, I made up my mind. Uh, it's... Uh, until they fix this AI initiative bug... Pff, you know, I, I can't play this game. Um, sorry. But I just wanted to make sure the, the mod didn't fix it. Uh, I wonder, it seems like making artillery fire cancels their uh, orders. So uh, if I were to give the second division, they haven't halted yet. Or maybe they've halted and given themselves new orders. But if I order them to fire, maybe that's the quickest way to kind of... They're still moving. Oh, look! So immediately the brigade, the, the commander... Yeah. If you give him order to attack a unit, that's a faster way to change. Because this brigade was moving over to here. Uh, by On its own initiative. And now... Okay, so that's a bit of a uh, exploit or cheat or fix. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, uh, this brigade has given itself new orders. But actually, it's going down towards the the right positions on the map. <sniffs> kind of weird. <sniffs> it's just so exhausting. Um, Okay, let's uh, try to fire on. Okay. Gonna have these guys turn in place, hopefully. Yeah, they did. Our 
cavalry uh, artillery is in a really vulnerable position here. I don't know. Uh, I'll try. Uh, they are outflanked by something, something, and I are they? They're not in melee. I wonder. These guys need to fall back. Uh, fall back. That's that. Oh, look! Look how they ended up. So that's gonna kill them. Uh, um, rally. Mm, so, now they're moving back here. First brigade. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh. 5th Division, oh, they're, okay, so 5th Division decided to move up here to the left flank. <laughs> it's, it's so retarded, it's so retarded, it's beyond, uh, I mean, am I the only one getting this, that, like, your entire arm is like, boom, gets the random movement orders. Uh, no other YouTubers I've seen have had this trouble, problem. Okay. Well, our center is broken open, but I mean, it hasn't been too terrible in the center. Uh, the entire Union uh, Rebel Army is there, I suppose, so. Um, it's just the fr frustration of seeing your entire army start moving in random directions. It's. Uh, I, I really was hoping it would work. Like, I, I could live with. A little bit of wonkiness, but it's just... Uh, at least when I play. Uh, I'm sure you can appreciate my... Uh, my frustration when my entire army just... Starts moving around uh, at random. And here's the thing, <laughs> they, they exchange places with each other. Uh, there's another game called Hearts of Iron, where if you have AI, they will move from one end like of the map to the other end, and it's just a disaster. And, and this game has the same sort of AI feature, if you want to be generous. Bug, if you want to be realistic, what it's all about. It must be a bug. Um, What's this here? Uh, first Brigade of 2nd Division. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think... I'm gonna have them try to line up in front of the artillery to protect the artillery so it doesn't get overrun.
Reynolds in contact. I don't know who Reynolds is, and I really don't care. We have some artillery here for some reason. Uh, I guess, I guess they decided to not to move around or something. Um, Okay, we got Sheridan's detachment and Sheridan's brigade. They're actually fighting in line, so uh, not too shabby. Okay, but this militia brigade insists on moving through the Union army. I think I gave him order to stop, but uh, if I give him order to fire, you know, I think yeah, that's again that's the quickest way to uh, just uh, have him stop doing stupid. Oh yeah, they're firing. Great, great. Hmm. Try to ang angle these guys a bit. At least I get some reserves in front of the artillery line. That's nice. Oh, the ca okay, so the cavalry decided to move. Where's cavalry going? Uh, I seem They seem to be setting up here around the house. That's okay. I mean, uh, I need to keep something around the victory location. So that was an okay AI order. I shouldn't say they always do silly, stupid stuff. Uh, just most of the time. We have some cavalry here in the in the rear. No, they're routed. Uh, it seems. You know what? I'm actually gonna use the fifth division on this side of the river. They already moved out of position here. Um, do I want them here? Yeah, let's. I'm just gonna give, give these guys an order. They don't have any order now. No, they don't. So I'm just gonna have them march over here on the open, nice flat field and see if they can. It's gonna be a while before they're there. Uh, let's see if they change their orders or. Fourth division on the right flank is uh, still holding on, actually. Uh, yeah, very nice, very nice. Third brigade is. I need to fall back with them. Uh, if you if you order a unit to fall back, it, it is going to break it uh, because the game can't handle it. Uh, they're not marching backwards. They're they're just gonna slant angle their line towards the enemy and take devastating fire and break. Uh, let's see. Maybe okay. They're falling back. No. Reloading. Um, 
Yeah, okay, so this actually seems like they are falling back. Uh, that's very nice. We have first brigade here. Gonna have them advance on the right flank. Covered by skirmishers. What's this? AI, AI, AI. It's the Sykes in contact. No, I can't. We have some rebels here advancing through the forest. Early's brigade, 3,000 men, no casualties. So that's something we need to focus on. I think most of our army is engaged now. Um, wow, fourth division is uh, out flanked here. Gonna have them uh, fall back a bit. Oh, I think they're already broken. Uh, all right, let's engage these skirmishers here. ASAP and these as well, at least have a move up. Mm. Our artillery seems to be doing seems to be doing okay. I think we have troops on the left flank covering the approach of the... Huh. Isn't that a weird angle you decided to set up in? I, uh, I'll try... Okay. F nah. Oh, look at this. Is that the... Maybe it's... Oh! Some orders. This could be a feud. This artillery could be setting up over here because of a feud, maybe? Could that be it? Wait, the cavalry moved over here now? Oh, they... Oh, the cavalry wanted to move here. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna hold... I'm gonna stop you right there, because... That's not... That's not... That's not a good location for you to move to. Now 
Jennifer withdraws. Yeah, I think uh, maybe the Union, uh, the Rebels are losing this battle because obviously they bunched up in the center. Uh, it's not a good attack. And I managed to avoid disaster. The AI initiative didn't kill my army. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, so. And then it's gonna be a AI disaster uh, instead. And there's only two alternatives really to a battle in this game. Okay, I guess the cavalry decided to stop, so we can move them. Could outflank the enemy here, maybe. Move them down there. We only have two soon. I mean, we're doing okay. Um, let's see the losses so far. Sixteen hundred versus two thousand four hundred. Those are actually very nice, uh, rational, realistic uh, losses. Uh, no, I, I, I like that. Fragmented. Okay. Uh, I think maybe this artillery has decided to move over on the left flank. All of it, yeah. That's unfortunate. Let's see if I can uh, get them to fire down here along the road. LA Tigers. Cool. I am streaming, so that clearly takes down the performance a bit of the game. Uh, that's not it's not to say the game is incredibly unoptimized, but it, it's uh, certainly uh, the sluggishness of it makes it. You don't want to repeat orders too much uh, in a situation like this. No, I just want you to turn around a bit. There we go. Sluggish, sluggish, sluggish movement. Sluggish map movement. Just trying to get some uh, skirmishes out as best as I can. 11 o'clock, and uh, you know, kind of looks like the Union line is holding for now. But it's not a, it's not a walkover. I, I, I feel casualty numbers are more. How should I put it? Realistic or uh, like 1800 to 2800? Uh, that's 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 good. Somehow,
we have a lot of shaky uh, troops though. Um, I'm not saying we're gonna win this. I'm not. But 5th Division on the right flank, under Hancock, is doing well. Facing some one star troops, Stonewell's Brigade here. Uh, not being outflanked, being in a feud. We don't have any reinforcement on the right flank. Uh, but our center is still holding. I'm gonna try to get the cavalry to engage and, and, and outflank from the rear. Uh, Earliest brigade here. This artillery, I don't know what the hell they're doing, but I'm gonna order it to go back here. <sighs> 11.20. If you were to remove the fact that the AI gives uh, initiative orders of entire formations, as you saw, I've been lucky so far and the AI hasn't really changed the angle or facing of many formations so far in the battle. In a way this is a rather decent battle so far. But, but you can understand that if I was in a critical situation and the game decided to order all my different divisions to just move randomly all across the map, it would make me lose the battle, uh, for sure. I mean, there's no way you can recuperate from a situation. Now I was really lucky to discover it in time and we weren't quite engaged uh, and, and I, had, I, I had the chance to recuperate it. It's just mindlessly annoying and boring and, and bothersome, but it happens sometimes that the game doesn't break. It's not always. Well, I, I think all my troops are more or less engaged here, except what's running away. Uh, let's see if McClellan can rally. Maybe. I have to uh, admire Earlis Brigade here, it's been very strong, very strong. Let's see if I can engage him from the rear, and that must, that must break it. Uh, I'm gonna dismount here and order them to uh, spread out in the forest and, and uh, engage with leader support. Let's see, if, see how that, what happens with that. He's isolated up here early and, and uh, I don't think he should be able to survive any much longer. You know, I could send in... Yeah, let's do this. Let's do some uh, melee here. Versus early. Let's move up the attack columns. We have... Uh, go. Mm. Trying to do something fancy here. We have two 
brigades in attack formation. Actually, three of them, yeah. They're moving up towards early. I'm, I'm gonna try to engage them in melee. Uh, they're still advancing here. Ouch! That's not good. Uh, let's see if we can rally with this guy here. Really. Okay, so let's engage him. Charge! Charge! And charge! Let's see if that what happens there. Ooh, my hand is really hurting from this sluggish uh, performance and, and, and repetitive. <sighs> you have to give orders over and over again. Mm. There we go. I can't believe my right flank is holding. It's very nice. No, 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 I, I, I don't want this, I don't want you to move over there, uh, I just, yeah. Oh, yeah, we drove off the, the Union here, um, just gonna have the entire, That's nice, we uh, actually managed to get them to retreat finally. We can advance with the cavalry here. Oh wait, I guess the cavalry... Why would you... Look at the order here. Uh... <laughs> Why would you turn back down there? Uh, I just want you to uh, advance. I, I guess, no, no. Uh, it, there's something here with the fence. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're stuck inside the fence, and the only way to get them out. All right, let's put them on their horses then, I suppose, and see if we can. Yeah, this is the only way to get them to advance. Uh, I guess. Ouch. We have some detachment here. We can uh, engage with. This brigade is in attack column still. It's 12 o'clock and... Oh. <laughs> turn around! For heaven's sake, turn around, I say. You know, I suppose uh, it's it's a nice uh, bull run uh, first battle of the war kind of experience here because um, both sides seem to be quite uh, amateurish. If you want, if you want, it's like we can't really. It, our forces are so green and inexperienced that as soon as you push, it just starts to fall apart. You basically, just stand there and shoot at each other. That that's what we can manage. Uh, which feels uh, historical and realistic. So, uh, if it has... I feel like the weapon balance is better than the vanilla experience. I'll give it that.
this. Okay, yeah, they need to rest. Or rally. Can actually send out skirmishes from now. I don't think I'm gonna engage with these skirmishes since the unit is quite shaky, but they can protect the main unit. Second brigade. So they're confident, so why not use their skirmishes to cover here in the middle? Gauge that battery down there. Powers detachment. We are running out of forces, but a lot of forces have run away. Uh, they are broken panicked panicked uh, I, I don't know if you can uh, press rally on an individual I don't know how to do that uh, I don't think the manual covers it very well either so it will be interesting to see what weapon category is causing the most uh, damage uh, at the end of the battle. We have some detachment in the front here. Uh, but it's not it's not looking great. Um uh, you know I, I I kind of feel like this entire line must just might just uh fall apart to be honest. Uh, there is a big hole here in the middle. We don't have any troops here on the open field. I have to give it to the 4th, 5th uh, division here on the right flank, on the Hancock. They've been doing very well. Uh, fighting on their own. Isolated. The USMC is um, well, kind of guarding the battery here on the right flank. Uh, so I don't know why their commander is so far out to the right. Oh, that's because, hmm, that's weird. Uh, okay, the cavalry is uh, ready to move up. Fourth Brigade, I'll try to order them to advance through the forest. Look. How many rebel formations are still in the in the fight, so to speak? Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if if they gave one last push here. Uh, maybe they could push us from the field. I, I don't feel very strong, especially here in the center of uh, the, the battle line. So I would really like to get. First division uh, up into the fight here. But we have a 
The first division is very large, 11,000, and they're facing a single brigade here as far as B's brigade. So we should be able to push them on the left flank, I feel. Some artillery here that seems to be kind of out of the fight. Mm, yeah, I have first brigade uh, unengaged because I need something to guard the victor location. Although it's kind of a shame, maybe yeah, I probably should uh, engage with them. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't put them into march column. So I'll just move them down the road here online. Mm. Oh right, we broke uh, we broke him on the left flank. Okay, let's let's see how how's it going here. They, they keep uh, mixing up with each other. I, I'm really trying to move them in individually, but it's hard, you know, you know. Oh, this is a detachment. Let's move that up here. Advance to the fence. Second brigade, send out some skirmishers. Third brigade, they already have, oh, here's their detachment. Move up the division commander, Carter. Let's, uh, yeah, that's about it. It's about one o'clock, and it seems like the Confederate push in the center has been driven back, but they still have uh, artillery uh, available to pound our positions. Uh, I would like to engage their artillery, but oh, it seems like our troops. Don't quite dare to advance on the artillery. Uh, I'll try to send skirmishers out to engage them. Yeah, we're not talking elite troops by any means, by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. Definitely not. And again, okay, uh, wow, <laughs> these guys have a star. Let's try to snipe some artillery over here then. Uh, it kind of seems like all that the rebels have left to fight with is actually artillery now. The infantry seems to mostly have been driven off. We're gonna e even push up with the fifth division here. The right flank. <sighs> Enemies retreating. All right. Uh, good. Twenty-four minutes left. So, when the Confederacy is retreating, they suffered five thousand casualties. And we have half of that, 2,500. Uh, it feels fair. I, uh, yeah, we, I mean, if the AI had stayed on its side and engaged in an artillery duo and tried to outflank us, I think we would have been in a worse position. Now they made, they made a center push, they didn't break our center and they suffered for it. But the losses aren't, that's bad. Two to one. At least we won the battle. But it's a minor victory. It's not a major victory. Um, we are far from 24%. You need 22% casualties to, to get a major victory. A major victory reduces the enemy readiness and supplies dramatically. Mm -hmm. The public would be pleased hearing about a victory like this, preserving anonymous support, names of the commander involved would surely be on lips of everyone on the home front. So 
What about a minor victory? Uh, oh, they had 13% casualties and we had 6.4% casualties. And there's a bit of victory points, morale, route, losses. Mm -hmm. Now, most of these losses for the Union Army, I can tell you, are three-month volunteers that will be leaving the army in 11 days from uh, today. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, no big deal. <laughs> uh, sounds a bit heartless, but... Uh, These armies are about to be uh, dissolved anyways. So no no real reason to uh... At least I guess Washington is saved for now. Uh, which is good. You know, I was thinking about uh, auto-resolving all the tactical battles of an entire campaign. Maybe that's the way to play the game in its current state, no offense. Um, if, if you don't mind so much the, the quirkiness, as I do, I, I, I have an option. But I don't think I would be playing this game if there weren't tactical battles in it. It's, it's, it's like why I'm playing it. The, st the strategic game is just isn't good enough. So it's a bit of a lose-lose proposition. Sorry if I sound spoiled or... Like I'm, I'm not trying really to find a, a good solution to a problem, but... The battle ends. 2,500 losses, 8 guns. They lost 55 guns, that's very nice. We'll probably capture quite a lot of them. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna inspect the battlefield, because I always forget to do this. But you can go into the HQ and uh, you can check what unit did kill what. Here you can see, I think. Uh, is this... Killed, wounded. All right, here you can see how many units they suffered. So, like, third division suffered quite heavily. Anyway, combat report. Oh, here it is. Here you can see which division caused the most uh, casualties, but it's it's quite evenly distributed uh, in a way that I don't feel the vanilla game gave me that experience. I don't know if it's because the troops are so uh, inexperienced overall here, could be, but th this is this is a good um, distribution, very good. You can tell eight division is the artillery, only forty eight casualties inflicted. 215 for the first, like, infantry inflicts so much more casualties than uh, than artillery. But that doesn't say anything about counter-battery firing and uh, morale losses. I don't know about that, but if you want to kill enemy troops, you do it with the infantry. Is that historical and accurate? Uh, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know, you tell me. Maybe, I mean... It's basically Napoleonic artillery. Uh, you start having some high accuracy explosive shell, uh, breech loading, rifle artillery, and that, that is dangerous. That is almost modern artillery, steel, steel barreled. But I'd say a lot of these artillery batteries are, are like <sighs> musket era. So, yeah suppose all right press play to quit uh, you have to go out
Well, we made it through one battle, and uh, I have seriously have to consider if I want to play this right now. It's so sluggish. It's there's so many AI orders going out on their own, uh, which I, I I don't understand. Um, Brigadier General Sumner is famous and an inspiration. Maybe if you play it once per week, you, you can take it. That, that could be a good plan. Let's not play too much. If uh, you are playing a uh, 1.009 patch, let me know if you ever experience that AI units in tactical battles decide to do not just turn an angle but like move from one area of the battlefield to, to, to another entirely different area on their own without initiative enabled. Uh, I haven't seen it on other YouTubers so I would be very curious to know if other players experience this. To me it seems like a bug uh, but I'm not sure maybe it's a feature maybe it's working as it's signed. Uh, if to me it's very annoying I don't like it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.